Here are the highlights. Round four, Pro Motocross from High Point. First 450 moto of the day. Lawrence Brothers off to a great start. The 96 Hunter, the one of Jet Lawrence. Yeah, uh, my bad on that. I actually thought Phil got two hole shots. He was just up front that first one. It was both the Lawrence boys up front, and they stayed up front. And it looked like Justin uh, Dylan Ferrandez made his way up, trying to catch those guys, and then he started getting caught by Justin Cooper. Justin goes into, makes his way up into third place, I believe. And then it was up left to these two, battling it out for the lead. It was wild. Hunter and Jet back and forth. A little mistake from Hunter. Mistake from Hunter. We saw that all day long. The track was very tough for these guys. And yeah, as soon as he made that mistake, Jet said, thank you. And then we see Justin Cooper make the same mistake, except for he lost a little bit more time. And then they still, the brothers were going at it. And then Chase Sexton was in third place, was trying to catch those guys um, catch the two guys in front of him, but it seemed like that was a day of mistakes that was made a lot, and it's not close it was to the end, Jake. This is the last lap, yeah, James. Hunter never let Jet go. Checkered flag at the top of the hill, and it was less than a second between the brothers in the end, but Jet again figuring out a way to get it done. That was a good one, but I think Moto2 might have been even better. Sexton a better start, but Nicoletti the best of all. Now I got it right. Phil did yeah. get the whole shot. His plan, his own little keys to the race, real good. He was trying to hold on, but Jason Anderson wanted to get in the party. The first time, I believe this year, that he actually was in the lead. And Jason looked good for a while. He was able to get out by the, almost a five second lead, starting to pull away while Jet was trying to find his form. He was pulling away. And then it was Chase Sexton finding the flow and going after Hunter Lawrence was able to make the pass. Then he went after Jet Lawrence as well. Now this is interesting. Anderson, it looks like he's giving up the lead to Jet. No, 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 he's got a plan here. Now he was like, oh, I'm just playing with you, I'm just playing. And watch his line, it just goes a little slower. And then that corner goes the other way and he just keeps going out there. But that was a little bad blood from what happened a couple uh, a couple weekends ago. And Chase Sexton had the BOGO special and then he thought he had it. He was walking out the store and then he realized he had to take the receipt back. And Jet Lawrence said, I'll take that back, please. Goes up the inside of him, nice move by Jet. Not over. Sexton does not give up on the pursuit. He had a great line here. Chase had some really good lines. Goes up on the inside of Jet. And another pass. These these two were going back and forth. Then moments where Chase would pull away, then make a mistake, and vice versa. And Jet, same corner as earlier, goes back around Chase Sexton. And that puts Jet back into the lead. And then Sexton still not giving up on the downhill. Nice line. He just said, forget it. Let up. Let off the brakes, went down the inside, got around Jet, and then that was a moment where you were like, okay, is this it? Chase Sexton's got a little gap, and then he goes in here and loses the front end. Tough position, that corner gave away from him, but even bigger than the crash was the momentum that he lost right here. That was tough for Jet, or for Chase, excuse me. Yeah, and good for Jet. Shoulder wasn't quite 100% today, but he engineered a 1-1. After some serious challenges from his brother in Moto 1, Sexton in Moto 2. Good congrats between the top three today. And then the big cheers from the podium. These are the results. Lawrence scores the most championship points today. That gives him the overall win. Sexton and Lawrence second and third. Plessinger will be fourth, Justin Cooper fifth. Ferrandis showed some signs earlier in the day, but ends up seventh behind Anderson, Barsha, Stewart, and McElrath. That rounds out the top 10. And these uh, championship standings, Pro Motocross 450 class, only eight between the top three.